Okay, uh, today we're going to look at how to ex use your extended screen capabilities with the new computers that we have. And so, uh, to do that, it's pretty simple. Uh, the, uh, I shouldn't say simple. It's, it's simple to start it off. Uh, there are some complications that may arise um, that can be confusing. And if that happens and you can't figure it out, um, don't hesitate to uh, talk to me, uh, Stephen Alexander, and I will um, get you squared away and, and help you out with this. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is just in the open field on your desktop, right-click and choose Screen Resolution. And you'll notice that uh, it kind of shows you what your display is like. And down here where it says Multiple Displays, and it says Duplicate These Displays. So one of the things you'll want to do is you'll want to have your smart board on, um, your projector on while you're doing this, so that because uh, you'll need to be able to see what's on the projector screen as well. And so right now, what's on my projector screen, you can't see it, uh, is exactly um, the same as what's on my uh, desktop, <coughs> which is the way our, our computers have worked in the past. Um, the, the extended screen gives you the uh, capability to have one thing going on the screen and something else on your computer. And so that is going to be very helpful in many ways, um, but it does take a little bit of getting used to. So um, we'll talk about some of those issues um, throughout this video. So we don't want to duplicate these this displ these displays. We want um, to extend these displays. So you're going to select extend these displays. And you do that and nothing has changed yet. Um, notice here the little uh, exclamation point says you must apply before making additional changes. So there's some other changes we need to make but we can't do that yet. We have to apply these. And so I hit apply and now um, it asks you if you want to keep these uh, display settings. Do you want to keep this or not? And we do want to keep the changes. Um, if it does not, if you, do, if you do not want to keep those changes, um, you can hit cancel or you can also, you'll notice it starts to count down uh, and it will revert back to the way it was, which is helpful because sometimes um, there are some problems that arise when you do this and uh, reverting back helps you to, to resolve some of those issues. All right, so mine actually, when I when I did that, it, it, it fixed it a lot for me because y my desktop is still on my computer screen, so my desktop information, which is where we want it. Um, and um, you'll also notice that the secondary display, which is my smart board, is to the right, and when I, so I move my mouse to the right. Now, you can't see this, but my mouse has now appeared on the uh, screen, uh, my projector screen on the smart board. Um, for some of you that when that's this happen, you'll be done with this and everything's fine. A couple things you need to make sure you need to make sure your resolution is set for each screen. So I've got this screen highlighted right now. You can see the blue around it, um, and it's at the the high resolution, and that's where you want to keep it, the recommended one. Um, and then you're going to click on the secondary screen, um, and you'll see that it's 1024 by 768, and that is correct as well because the 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 perspective of that and the ratio on that uh, screen is different than the ratio on your our nice new large monitors and so um, that is the best for that um, if you're if when you did this your desktop is now on your um, smart board um, you're gonna have to do some additional things um, if, if yours looks like well, if your computer screen has the desktop on it and your your smart board now has kind of the Windows um, sy symbol on it because nothing is being displayed on it um, and uh, you may be good to go. One thing you may have to adjust based on kind of where your computer is sitting and what just seems natural to you, um, you'll need to, you may need to adjust um, the direction you move your mouse to actually go to the smart board. So you'll notice I'm moving my mouse to the left and it stops right there and the mouse is still visible. I'm actually still trying to move it to the left but it can't go anywhere. When I go to the right, that's not the case. It disappears because as soon as it leaving, leaves this screen, it is now going to my smart board. Um, for most of you, probably going to the right is going to be the more natural position, but that is not always the case. Some of you may more naturally want to move things to the left. To do that, you simply move the screen, physically move that screen, and then you'll have to hit apply. Um, and now, when you, if, I, if I do that, it sometimes takes a little bit for it to take effect, but when I move my cursor now over to the left, you'll see that the cursor disappears and it's going onto my smart board. Uh, that, that doesn't make sense for me, so I have to switch mine back over to the right um, because that's the direction it makes more sense for me to use it. Um, 
and that's just a personal preference for each of you will have to make that decision. So I applied those changes again, and so now my mouse disappears again to this side. Um, so that is that is the way to extend your display. Now, let me just, uh, just uh, help you with solve a problem. Uh, and to s help you solve that problem, I'm going to create that problem for myself on this computer real quick. So this isn't something you're going to necessarily do, but I'm going to set up the same scenario that you're, some of you will be dealing with. Um, so you don't really need to worry about what I'm doing on the screen here for the next couple of seconds. Um, so now you'll see that my screen looks very different. Um, and what you see, this is what was on my smart board a second ago. And then what's on my s and what was on my computer screen was my desktop. Well now, my desktop is um, on the computer is not on the computer screen is on the smart board, and that is because the, the computer when I s extend the screen it doesn't it has to kind of pick a a screen to put the desktop on it doesn't always know which one is the best choice and so you have to tell which tell it to make which one to do so the problem with that is that you're 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 having to kind of do that and look at your smart board uh, and 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 figure that out. And this screen itself may actually be over on your smart board. And so um, that's not going to be very helpful for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to highlight this screen. You may actually have to identify which screen is which. So this screen is screen one, but it doesn't have the desktop on it. You can actually see the desktop is over on the other one. And so I want this one to be my desktop. And so I'm going to switch that and put make this my main display. And I'm going to hit apply. And now that is my um, desktop over here. And my um, projecting screen is the one that we just saw. So that's uh, how to do that. Uh, click, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that. And that's we're done now. Um, that's the basics. Now on the next video, I'll show you a little bit about um, using PowerPoint with your um, new extended display.